Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some projects for Scrap Diva Designs. These are projects for the October release. This is the second video of my October release videos. I will link video number one down below in the comments or in the description box in case you missed it. And I will um, show you the dies that I used, the uh, products that I used as well. There's a referral link down below. If you click on that and order, I do get a commission. It doesn't affect your cost, but it does help me out and my channel. So I really appreciate when you guys use that. And I have a coupon code, which is strawberry cream, and that saves you 10% at checkout at scrapdivadesigns.com. So these are all gonna be fall projects. So I use some really pretty fall papers in my stash that I'll show you. And yeah, let's get started. So I used this one, which I picked up recently from, I think it was Scrap book.com. This is called Farmstead Harvest from American Crafts. Really pretty fall papers. And then I used this one that I've had for a while. It's called Cottage Place from DCWV. They, they kind of go together, so that's why I use them both. So the first die set that I used is called the Door Mini Album. And this comes with so many dies, and there are so many possibilities for how to use this die set. Um, I made mine into a card, which I tend to do with my mini album dies. I love to make mini albums, but I gravitate towards dot or towards cards because I just love to send those out. So that's what I did, and I'll show you how I made it. But um, it comes with so many dies. So the first is the um, the uh, base die, which is huge, as you can see. So it fits a good amount of pictures in that if you want to make it a mini album. There's a layering die that's stitched, and it comes with this die here that is a frame die that cuts down the middle so it opens up the door in the middle. And then it cuts out the windows, six windows on the door. There are layering pieces for each frame of the door. This part here would cut out the um, spine, I believe, of the mini album. I did use this, but not as a, um, not in the way it was intended, I'll show you. And it comes with these two words with shadows, which are um, believe and explore. I didn't use those yet, but you can use these in you know any kind of project that you want. And then it comes with all of these pieces of foliage. So you could use these on the album. I use them on the inside of my card. They'd also be great for Christmas projects, I think. They look like, um, like holly branches to me. So let me show you what I made. I did make a card. Actually, let me show you the next die set first because I used that too. This is the sunflower bag topper, the small size. And I didn't use the bag topper part, which is this. I used the sunflower and I used that as a wreath on my door. So it comes with this petal die and then this one, which is slightly smaller and you just offset them when you put them together. And then it comes with this middle part to make it look like the center of a sunflower and then also a like frame die too. And it's beautiful. This is such a beautiful sunflower. I can't believe how nice it looks when it comes together. So, okay, let me show you my card, which I use both of those die sets in. And this is it. Doesn't it look so nice? Let's start with that mini or the sunflower bag topper, the small one. So I used all of the die pieces except for the, the bag topper itself, all the ones for the sunflower. And I used just different fall colors, some tans and browns. And you could see for the center, on this one here, it just embossed the little um, like squares on the center, but you can have them cut out. I just didn't make like a really thick sandwich in my die cutting machine. I wanted it to just not cut out the center, just emboss it a little bit. So that's what I did. And then, you know, like I said, just did different kinds of brown papers and glued them together. And it made that beautiful sunflower, which is the focal point of this door set. And then for the door itself, um, I used all of the frame dies. And um, for the background piece, I used a page from the Cottage Place uh, paper pad. And that one has the like 
all the houses in it. Looking back, I shouldn't have done that because it makes it look like a window and I want it to, to just be like a door. So I probably should have left it like some sort of like solid or patterned piece, but uh, you know, it's okay. That's how I did it. And then I used some like um, uh, epoxy stickers, some glitter stickers to look like doorknobs there and just coordinating papers for the frame and the base of the door. And then I glued on this piece of paper. This also comes from, I think it comes from Cottage Place. It, it could come from the Farmstead Harvest, I don't remember. But just to kind of like make a place for the sunflower to glue on top of, because I didn't want to glue it on top of the middle of everything, or then you wouldn't be able to open the door. So I put this piece of paper on the middle but just on the right side of the paper so it would open. So that's what it looks like. And then on the inside, when you open the door, it says, thankful for you, which comes from Farmstead Harvest. These are those um, like foliage dies that come with the door die set. And I added some stickers. These are from Doodlebug uh, Pumpkin Spice, I believe. And I think it just looks so pretty. What a nice card, right, to open like that. And if you would like to know how to put this together in a card, just let me know. I'll put a quick tutorial together for you. It's really, really easy. I used this, this die here to cut out the hinges for the sides. So it's, it's very simple, but I'll, I'll be glad to give you the measurements and everything of how to do it if you would like to know. So let me take some measurements of this and I will let you know how big it is. So from top to bottom, this is a large, uh, card and it comes out to be about six almost six and a quarter inches top to bottom and then side to side it is about four and a quarter so a really nice size you could see if you wanted to make it into a mini album you'd fit a you know a nice size picture journaling ephemera all sorts of embellishments whatever you want to do but i thought it'd be nice to make a card so that's what i did this is a piece of ephemera that i had in my stash from another collection but i just love the details that you know it cuts out the the door and then the frame and then a background of the frame so it just it's really detailed and i think whoever gets this will really like it so that is my first project. I hope you like it. I had so much fun making it. I love to turn mini albums into cards, of course. Okay, the next one is the large sunflower bag topper. So the one I showed you before was the small one. And then this is a large one. It comes with the same pieces. It's, it's just bigger. So <clears throat> it comes with the bag topper die. You'll cut this out twice to make a bag topper. And then the different sunflower pieces, the, um, the base piece, the one that's a little bit smaller, the, um, you know, the, the main part of the seeds of the sunflower, and then a frame piece. And I did make mine into a shaker. You don't have to do that. Actually, I don't think it's designed to do that, but it's easy enough to turn into a shaker. So that's what I did. So this is the one that I made and I love it. I think it is so pretty. I am not much of a fall crafter. I love fall. It's my favorite season, but I just gravitate more towards pastels and Christmas. So um, fall, I tend to not really concentrate on, but I was so happy to have these to help me to, to craft for fall. And I do have some gifts that I want to use these on, so it'll be perfect for that. So this is the large sunflower made out of the large sunflower bag topper dice. Set. So if you didn't want to, you didn't have to use a bag topper. You could just use the, you know, the sunflower in and of itself. But if you want to put it on the bag topper, it just makes a beautiful um, decoration for your bag. So let me take a measurement of the sunflower for you. And that is, it's about four inches from uh, the circumference. So a beautiful size. And then the bag topper itself is over five inches. It's almost five and a quarter inches uh, top to bottom and then side to side it is uh, about four and three eighths so perfect for your larger size bags if you put them together what I did was I cut it out twice of this pretty double-sided paper and then I just used some double-sided double tape 
on the flaps and glued them together. So then you have a back topper. And to make it into a shaker, I took a circle die that I had in my stash that fit into the circumference of the, the frame die and just used that for, um, for my acetate and for the backing piece. So that's all you have to do to turn it into a shaker. And then I had this piece of, well, it wasn't ephemera, but I cut it out of a, um, a 12 by 12 paper and just made it, in, it made it into a banner myself, added a tracing wheel on the sides or on the edges to give it a little bit of bow stitching, and I inked it with some Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo to age it a little bit. And then I filled the shaker with this shaker mix that I've been using a lot, lot lately, which is from Picket Fence Studios, and it is called Pumpkin Cookies. So it has... Um, pumpkins in there, cookies, and all of the coordinating colors of like sequins and shaker bits. So I thought it went perfectly on this. And I just love this bag topper. I think it is so, so pretty. I love sunflowers for the beginning of fall, the end of summer. If you wanted to use this for earlier in the summer, you could use brighter colors. That would be perfect. So that is my next project. I hope you like it. I love how it came out. It was just a pleasure to make and I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, let's move on to my last project. And for those, I used um, two different die sets. I used this one, which is called Hey There Pumpkin Small. So this is uh, a sentiment set that obviously says Hey There Pumpkin. And then it has a shadow piece for the words. And then, well, this is the shadow piece for the words itself. And then also like a triple shadow piece for the um, for everything overall. And then it comes with a pumpkin um, layering set to go over the U. So it comes with the, um, the main pumpkin part that has the stem on it and then a layering piece that has some embossing lines. And this comes in a large version as well. I didn't use that yet, but it's available on scrapdivadesigns.com. This is a smaller one that I will measure for you. And I also used an older die set that um, it's actually not available right now, I don't think, but in case you have it, this is what I used. It's called scallop tags, and I used the largest scallop tag. So this is what I made, and this one I used a little bit of brighter colors. I used um, doodlebug, pumpkin spice papers, and um, ephemera, and I also used some lawn fawn paper. This paper in the back with the little leaves on it is from Lawn Fawn as well. And that is from, um, what is the paper pad? I'll list it down below in case I um, can't think of it before the end of the video, but that's what I used. But um, yeah, so Hey There Pumpkin is the Scrap Diva Designs die set, and I love this. Now, Hey and There are written in script, so they're, all the letters are connected, so it makes it really easy to paper piece. Pumpkin is separate, but it's only, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six letters, so it's not that big a deal to, you know, glue on separately. And then the U I cut out of different papers because, you know, it's a pumpkin, so I wanted to treat it special, of course. And I pop that out on some, I pop that up on some foam tape to, you know, make it stand up a little bit. This is a sticker from Doodlebug Pumpkin Spice that I dusted the back with cornstarch to make it not sticky. And then I popped it up with some foam tape from Dollar Tree to give it some dimension. This was a Doodle Pop from uh, Doodlebug that I just, you know, just stuck right on there. This was also a sticker that I did the same thing with the cornstarch and a double-sided piece of tape. And then I added some Lawn Fawn Clear Glaze on the cheeks and eyes of all these papers, or, well, well, of all these embellishments to kind of give them a little bit of gloss and dimension. And then this part here is a sticker from pumpkin spice as well. And these little drops that look like Nouveau drops, they're actually little stickers from Doodlebug. And then I added a, an eyelet. Um, there's already a hole punched out from the scallop tag set, but I did add an eyelet in like a pale yellow just to kind of finish it off. And then I added a piece of orange twine to give it a tie. So that's the back, also some Doodlebug paper. And I just love the bright colors. I love the unexpected 
bit of the aqua paper in there. I think that looks really nice and fun and I just love the brightness. So let me measure the Hey There Pumpkin. And that is um, about three inches, almost three inches from side to side. And then from top to bottom, it's about one and a half inches. So the larger one will be, you know, bigger than that. But this one is perfect for your tags. Um, this is a bigger tag. That's why I added the other elements to it as well. But, you know, you can do whatever you want. Add it to tags, add it to cards, whatever you want. I mean, you know, use your imagination. So those are all of my projects for today. I hope you like them. I love fall and um, these die sets have really made me appreciate fall crafting, which I kind of gloss over to be honest with you usually, but I'm so glad to have these because I do have occasions in fall to give these out. So it'll be so nice to have these. All right, everyone, these will be listed down below, um, my referral link, as well as my coupon code, which is strawberry cream to get you 10% off, will be listed as well. So let me know what you think. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care, everyone. Bye.